It is happening. The Model S has been spotted out in the wild with the refresh that's happened. And you'll notice that with the refresh that the yoke steering wheel is replacing the circular format. Now my thoughts on this steering wheel being replaced is that there's going to be a learning curve using it. Most people are using the steering wheel that's in a circular pattern to grab the wheel at the 10 and 2 o'clock positions. I like to drive with my hand at the 12 o'clock position and just drive around if I need to make adjustments I can move it down and around the wheel as I like but I think that with autopilot it's gonna serve as a good purpose to get the steering wheel and just drive it in a comfortable manner as the autopilot keeps getting better and better I think that Tesla is gonna not really even require a lot of the steering wheel usage anyway so I'm looking forward to that now the interior of the Model S it looks like the dashboard and the interior designs have been a little bit upgraded like the center console there's a lot of wood that's seen around there and I think that looks kind of old school it looks really mm, old-fashioned if you're looking for more of a modern look you can replace that with some carbon or some wraps things of that in the future now also in the refresh you'll notice that the horizontal screen is there and that's replacing what was commonly there with the vertical 17 inch screen that most Model S users were used to. Also to note is that the 0 to 60 time in this Model S is going to be increased from 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds. It's ridiculous how fast this thing can go. It'll pull a lot of g-forces. This thing will put you, throw you back in the back of that seat. If you've ever gotten into a Tesla and you floored it, you will know exactly what I'm talking about in that exhilarating feeling of getting just pushed back and being able to take off like a rocket ship. Other than that, the exterior of the car it looks like the handles are flush with the car and it's not chromed out anymore. Also following the Model S and the recent Model Ys, the chrome around the window seal is all blacked out also. So that's where this is all going and you'll see that the cameras are even blacked out too. And I like it. The sensitive kind of updated features that they're putting the quirks into the car, it's a really nice touch and I'm looking forward to seeing it more out in the wild and on the roads.